What's up everyone? Today, I'm gonna show you how I went from this to this. Let's check it out. Welcome back to Short Notice. My name is Riley and today we have another tech check for you. If you're new to the channel, Short Notice is all about making short films from home in a short amount of time. Our episodes focus on the pre-production, production, and the final cut of a short film that we make, while our tech checks focus on the editing problems that we encounter while making those films. Normally, but today I have something a little bit different for you. If you saw episode one of season two, you saw that we used a DIY PVC frame as a set wall in our set building challenge. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to make it. So for this project, we're making a frame that's seven feet tall and eight feet wide. You can use this, like I said, as a movable wall for your sets or for your backdrop in a YouTube video. You're gonna to wanna to start with six PVC pipes that are 10 feet long and one inch in diameter. Plus, you'll need a variety of PVC joints. To start things off, you're gonna to need to cut the pipes down to size. Now, PVC is easy to cut. If you're comfortable with it, you can do it at home with something like a hacksaw. My mom and I used a Dremel. Just make sure you're wearing the proper safety protection. Otherwise, you can ask the associates at whatever hardware store you're at, and they'll likely be able to do it for you you're going to want to end up with six four feet pieces, three three feet pieces, six two feet pieces, and 14 one foot pieces. I should mention that these measurements are actually gonna end you up with 15 one foot pieces, but you don't need to use that last one. The good news is cutting it is the hard part, so once you've done that, all that's left is to put it all together. So time to grab your PVC joints. You're gonna need 14 T joints, two plus joints, and two elbow joints. Make sure your joints are the same diameter as your pipe in every opening that they have. Otherwise, this won't work. We're gonna start with the base. So take three of your one foot pieces and connect them all with a T joint. Now do that one more time. Take those two pieces and connect them with another T-joint along the straight edge so the third hole points upwards. Easy, that's our middle base done. We need two more of those, but the ones on the sides look a little different. Connect two one-foot pipes around the right angle of a T-joint. Now do that again and connect those two pieces with another T-joint. This is gonna look like a backward C. That's the base for your left side. Now do it again, but this time make it look like a regular C. That's the base for the right side. All together, we have the base for the frame. This is gonna make sure it's sturdy and stays up on its own. Spread your bases roughly four feet apart, and now we can start building up. Take one three foot pipe and stick it into the open hole of the T-joint. Now you're gonna do that with the other two as well. Now on the left side, we're gonna add a T-joint that's facing right. In the middle, we're gonna add a plus joint. And on the right side, we're gonna add a T-joint that's facing left. Now take one four foot piece and connect the left and middle pipes together. Now you can take another four foot piece and connect the middle and right sides together. That's the first layer done, so it's time to build up again. You're gonna wanna take three two foot pieces and put them each into the remaining holes of each joint. Now we're gonna repeat the process of adding the joints. On the left side, we have the T joint facing right. In the middle, we have the plus joint and on the right side, the T joint facing left. Once again, we're gonna take our four foot pieces, connect the left and middle sides and the middle and right sides. Another layer done, we only have one left. So once again, we're gonna repeat this whole process. Take three of your two foot pipes and put them into the remaining holes of the joints. Now we're gonna add joints again, but it's a little different. On the left side, we're going to have an elbow. We're gonna have an elbow. 
On the left side, we're going to add an elbow joint facing to the right. In the middle, we're going to add a T joint. And on the right side, another elbow. And on the right, an elbow joint facing left. Take your remaining two four foot pieces and connect the left to the middle and the middle to the left. And that's it. Your frame is done. Now, to turn it into a wall or backdrop, you can throw some fabric on top of it. You can attach it in a variety of ways. You can tie it, you can zip tie it. If it's like a curtain and it has holes in the top, just use the top pipe of your frame as a curtain rod. You can pull the fabric real taut to make it look like a wall. You can steam it, that helps get some of the wrinkles out. You can arrange it in a way to add some texture in the background of your videos. Hang some lights across it, hang a picture on it, whatever you want. You now have a movable, easy to take down backdrop that doesn't put any holes in your wall. You can adjust the size of it by removing some pipes if you need something a little bit smaller, or you can turn it into two walls if you buy yourself one more 10 foot pipe and a couple more joints. The possibilities with this thing, honestly, are endless. It's really versatile, it's cheap, and it's easy to make. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope that maybe you wanna try this out for yourself. If you do, definitely DM us a picture on Instagram. We would love to see you guys make this at home. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you. If you like this video and you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.